Shalom, shalom. Hello, peace to you, everybody. Um, this is another video um, in conjunction with um, all the rest of my videos for my 21-day detox that, that's going on. Um, I'm excited. It's fun. Um, so far, I can tell that it's working. Um, anytime that you know a detox is working is when you start to break out. And clearly, if you see... I can, I'm breaking out um, and that's always good because all that stuff is coming out yes so it's really exciting I'm very happy about that um, today though it, I'm just going to talk about um, some questions that's been coming up like a lot of people hear me talk about alkaline and alkaline water and being alkaline and la 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 um, and to elaborate a little bit more I'm talking today um, basically acidic versus alkaline and let's start off, let's start off with acidic uh, to be acidic um, is the worst thing you can probably want to be um, every disease every um, every cancer is from an acidic state that means that your body is overly acidic um, and uh, you, you're not balanced. Your pH balances aren't balanced. You're not balanced. You're overly acidic. Um, and when you're overly acidic, um, it's, it's just like a festering pool of disease, of mucus, of things that cause a lot of stuff. And we don't realize, you know, what we eat is 99% of what causes our body to become highly acidic. Um, for example, some foods that we eat normally um, that we don't realize can kill us um, based on um, its nature and how acidic it is. Cheese, number one, milk, meat, probably 98% of all meat is highly acidic. Um, wheat flour or wheat um, you know white flour anything white anything white um, there has to be some type of bleaching process that goes on so that's why it's white <laughs> um, they take out everything and that's why you get it for two dollars um, a whole thing of it um, because there's is really no nutrition and it's actually very highly acidic put water and flour and sit it just sit it there and you see it bubbling and curdling over that's what exactly what's happening into your body um, and with bile mixed in not to be gross but that's what it is um, instead of white flour use kamut 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 flour um, sugar white sugar again it's white there's you don't know uh, use agave instead um, rice rice highly acidic um, thing yeah it's white again um, people use brown rice um, what you would use um, instead of that even uh, would be kamut I mean quinoa excuse me quinoa is probably the best thing it's a grain um, and it's amazing and it tastes really good especially the way I cook it I know. Um, so with that, um, <clears throat> um, a friend of mine, he, he hit me and he was just like, you know, shout outs to you. Hey, anyway, um, he hit me and was like, um, you know, he has really bad headaches. And I was telling him that, um, see, your body is a vessel. It is probably the most intellectual thing that you will ever experience in your lifetime. It will tell you when there's something wrong. It tells you. If you're having headaches, if you're feeling woozy and nauseated all the time, you are too ascetic. You have too much acid in your body. Um, you have to figure out a way to get balanced, to get alkaline. Um, your body will tell you, like, okay, something's wrong, something's wrong, and you get headaches, you're not feeling good. Um, you know, if you feel like heavy and stressed and, um, you know, it's like, oh, I can't, like, I can't. If you're always having stomach ache, you need a cleanse ASAP, ASAP, because your body is telling you something is happening in there. 
um, people, if you meet people that cleanse a lot, you know, are very, you know, you know, they're very whole, W-H-O-L, um, they, they don't, they don't have pains like that, you know, they don't have things like gas and stuff like that, because it's, all it is, is it's, it's your body breaking down things that you, you, your, your, your body can't really absorb, um, you know, you know, after a good cleanse, after you have bowel movements, you, you, it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell, you know what I'm saying, because you're not eating things that are ascetic and festering like meat, if you don't eat meat in your, di in your diet, um, you know, and, and stay away from a lot of ascetic foods like cheese and things like that, you're not going to have smelly bowel movements at all, um, because there's nothing rotting in your system, um, you know, it's all leafy greens and proteins and fibers, so, you're not going to have that. So that's acetic. Let's get on to how to alkaline that um, and how to balance that. And, you know, you're going to have some acid. I mean, you need acid to break down food, to break down, you know, your vegetables, to break down anything really um, is, is body acid. But like, for instance, some people have really bad acid reflex disease. Acid reflex, you know, it could be due to pregnancy, it could do to being overweight and it's pushing up um, against your, your, your stomach and causing your acid to come up into your esophagus, you know, it's corrosion of the esophagus. Um, that's telling you right then that you have too much acid in your body. It's very, you're very acidic. Um, so how to counteract that would to get very alkaline um, in your way of life, in the way you eat, and, um, you know, making sure that the things that you consume balance out that acidity. So, for instance, apples. Apple cider vinegar is probably one of the most amazing things to break down acid. Um, it sounds very weird, like, this is vinegar, and I'm confused, because I remember when I first heard it, I was like, S I need you to stop entertaining me with all your your regalia please it really was <laughs> I did a lot of research and came to find out and used it myself so every morning I take uh, um, I take now uh, coconut oil and apple cider vinegar and take it like a shot and we all know y'all know how to do shots cut it out so take that take it down um, and you will not have any acid at all at all so um, with that, bananas, kelp, coconuts, uh, seagrass, things like that are very highly alkaline and will help you out a whole lot. Um, now, let's get to something basic that we can really just do right now. What you can do is Google Kangen water, K-A-N-G-E-N. -E it's alkaline water. A lot of people have the machines. A lot of people have... Um, the you know uh, resources uh, really to just go like I have three in like a five mile radius of my house didn't ever know it didn't even know did a Google search wow it's right there a lot of water um, distributors have it so Google it there's one in Lamert Park if y'all are in LA off 43rd um, let me show you my alkaline water bottle again and give you the number it's 323-293-3610. Um, and if you see the address, it's right there off of uh, 43rd in uh, Los Angeles in Lamarck Park. And it's black owned, so that's always good. Um, okay, nevertheless, I'm going to do a quick demonstration and let you go um, on alkaline water and what it does. It oxygenizes your blood. It's something that offers something immediate into your bloodstream. Um, like, say, if you need to take pills or, unfortunately, um, or if, like, you need to take your herbs and things like that, it breaks it down immediately as opposed to if you have water, just regular water, say spring water or whatever, um, it, it, it'll take about an hour um, to break down um, but with alkaline water, because it's so potent and so oxygenized, it breaks it down. So here, I'm going to do an example. Let me show you. Now, we know that oil and water don't mix. Um, this is 
oil in both of these. And I'm going to take spring water. Okay? And I'm going to pour it in here. And if you see, you'll have a few... You have a few, like, you know, you see how it's like big circles and it's, you know, because oil and water doesn't mix, so it just floats at the top and around the rim. And you see that. Okay. I hope you can see that because I'm sorry about this. And then I'm going to put some alkaline water. And now this is about three days old. And we know that alkaline water, I didn't even mean to put that much in there, so. But still, you can see how it breaks it down. Look, it's like tiny, tiny, tiny bubbles. Tiny, tiny, tiny bubbles as opposed to big, you see it's like just one big oil, looks like an oil spill. I hope you can see it. But this is very, very broken down. And then you see, you don't see it around the brim, like you see it down, I wish I can show you really, but you can see it in, in there, it's not, you know, it's not really like how it is here where it's just all at the top. All of it is at the top. All of it is around the rim. And so that's kind of an example, relatively, sorry, um, of how it breaks down immediately um, as opposed to, and that's oil. And that's good because, you know, when we take our almond oil, I mean, excuse me, our, <laughs> our olive oil, or if we have our coconut oil, or hemp oil, things like that, it needs to be able to be broken down instead of just floating in there, you know, and not being able to really be broken down um, when you when you consume a lot of water. So um, that is my alkaline versus uh, acidic uh, little spat we just had here. And I really want to encourage you guys to really try and get alkaline water as much as possible. Try and eat alkaline food try not to eat so much meat and cheese and things like that. I'm not asking you to be vegan, but I am asking you to really try and maximize on that. You know, um, you know, there's still you can still you can still do a lot of things, trust me, I do. Um like wine. You know, you have wine, wine is actually alkaline. Um, you know, red wines and things like that. It's grapes. And grapes are alkaline. Uh seeded grapes are are the best. So, um anything with a big a lot of color, you know, is, is really good because, you know, you know, it has melanin, it has energy from the sun. So, um, dates, figs, all of those, just amazing things that you should always consume in your diet. Anyway, so this is my journey. I'm so excited. Haven't eaten. I feel really amazing. I feel a lot of energy doing a lot of meditation. Please leave your comments. I love you all. I thank you for, like, your support. I, I didn't realize you guys were going to support me this much. Seriously. Um, I thank you. Um, I love you. Shalom to you. Peace to you. Hotep. Love. Peace. Thank you.